Volkswagen has the ambitious goal of increasing their US sales to 800,000 cars by 2018. Step one in doing that was the redesigned 2011 Volkswagen Jetta. Step two is the car you see right here, the 2012 Volkswagen Passat. Volkswagen dropped off an early build press car for us to sample, so let's take a first look. The Passat we're getting here differs from the Passat sold in the European market. Our Passat is also built in America in a new factory in Chattanooga, Tennessee. From the outside, the Passat looks a whole lot like the Jetta, just a larger version with similar, some might say anonymous, styling all the way from the grille to the back of the car. Volkswagen will be offering three different engines when the Passat goes on sale in September. The base engine is the familiar 2.5 liter 5 cylinder. Now we've complained in the past about that engine being noisy, but engine noise is better suppressed in this car than it is in some other Volkswagens. The most unique engine choice is Volkswagen's 2 liter 4 cylinder turbo diesel engine. Volkswagen claims that that car will get 43 miles per gallon on the highway and have an amazing 800 mile cruising range on a single tank. The diesel and the V6 will have Volkswagen's DSG automated manual gearbox, whereas the 5 cylinder will offer a 5 speed manual or smooth shifting 6 speed automatic. Our first impressions are that the Passat rides fairly well, but the body doesn't remain that tied down. Handling is on par with that of a lot of other mid sized sedans. Buyers looking for the crisp steering and sharp brake feel of the earlier Passat, they're going to be a bit disappointed. Up front, drivers are going to find an open, airy interior. Controls are pretty simple. There's a large touchscreen for the radio, three knobs for the standard automatic climate control. The Passat's interior is also better finished than that of the Jetta, which was a disappointment. This Passat is quite a bit bigger than the model it replaced. Most of that extra space wound up here in the back seat. Volkswagen is claiming that this is the roomiest rear seat in the mid-size class. There is a whole lot of leg room here. If Volkswagen's going to meet their ambitious sales goal, they're going to have to sell a whole lot of Passats. And that puts it up against some heavy competition. We'll find out how the Passat compares to cars like the Hyundai Sonata, Nissan Altima, and Honda Accord when we buy one to test here at our tracks. 